my name is Hannah. Um, if you are new here, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. Um, today, I'm very excited for this one. Um, we are doing another anticipated adaptations video. Um, to catch you up, if you are new here, um, hi, my name is Hannah, and I'm like obsessed with the process by which books become movies and TV shows. I keep a running list on Letterboxd of anticipated adaptations, and as those adaptations become real and happen, they get moved to a different letterbox list, the red first list. Um, the list is reserved for adaptations of books that I earnestly do want to read. So it's not exhaustive, there are other ones out there, but if it's not a book that I have any interest in reading, then it's not going to be on my list. <laughs> and so in this series, I'm going to try to tell you about maybe a couple handfuls of upcoming adaptations at a time. Um, my goal is for this to be a series and for it to eventually be more of like an updates series. Um, I do have a backlog of about 60 upcoming adaptations or so. Uh, if I do these like 10 at a time or so, hopefully I'll get caught up before too long. And also a main reason I want to get caught up and get through these is that a lot of times uh, the information becomes outdated very quickly. I'd already scripted like three installments or so when the first one came out, but just in like the couple months that I haven't made one of these, half of that information is no longer relevant and it's some of it's also not even true. So I obviously want to avoid that obviously. And just a quick disclaimer, I'm not claiming to have inside knowledge of anything whatsoever. It's just that this is like my bread and butter. This is something that I find really interesting. So the purpose of this series is to just like take all this information that's out there and kind of just synthesize it into one place to the best of my ability. And also maybe just put you onto some movies and TV shows that are coming out that you might like. Yeah. But all that to say, if something is conjecture or like just my opinion, I will make that very clear. All right, <laughs> that's that. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with a couple of books that I have mentioned recently in wrap up, so I'm not going to go too super in depth. The first of which is, of course, My Policeman by Bethan Roberts. It's going to be starring Emma Corrin as well as Harry Styles and David Dawson. This movie exists. That's not necessarily always the case with these. Filming has been completed, has been for quite a while now. Um, there's been, hasn't been any recent movement with like an official poster or a trailer or a firm release date or anything. The prevailing wisdom just says kind of broadly 2022 release, so we have that to look forward to. And another one that I also mentioned in a recent wrap-up and I have a little bitterness about this one. Aristotle and Dante Discovered the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin O'Leary Science. In a previous version of this script that I had written out, I pointed out that this screenplay has existed for several years at least. It was just kind of like in limbo. There wasn't any like intentions, it seemed, of actually producing it. And honestly, it was kind of in the same boat as the sequel book to Aristotle and Dante. And I conjectured months ago, so I have no proof other than my own, my own knowledge. Now, I thought maybe the publication of the sequel, Waters of the World, and production on the movie might be, one might kick the other off. They might be a little bit connected marketing wise. And wouldn't you know it, within a week of Waters of the World's publication, uh, production started on the movie. Um, H. Alberto, who had written the screenplay years ago, uh, posted on Instagram that production was underway and we didn't even have a cast list at the time or anything. In the same Instagram posts, we found out that Lin-Manuel Miranda is executive producing. And then that same week or maybe a week later, the deadline article dropped with the cast list. So that kind of all came about shortly after the sequel, just as I suspected. <laughs> so that is currently in production, so I expect that might be a little quiet for a while and then we'll we'll find out more towards 
when production's done, is my guess. So those are the two that I have mentioned before. Um, the next one I have here is my year of rest and relaxation. And this is one of those, does this exist? We just don't know. So probably a couple, two years ago now maybe, um, in the backs of paperback editions of this book, um, there was a blurb about the fact that this book was being adapted into a movie directed by Yorgos Lanthimos, who of course did The Lobster and Killing of a Sacred Deer and The Favorite and Dogtooth and yeah, and co-produced by Margot Robbie, which is very cool. So that was announced a couple years ago. However, I'm not necessarily holding my breath that this one's going to be coming out soon. Because here's the thing, Yorgos Lanthimos is booked and busy. He has quite a few projects that are like in development, various stages, and who knows what like the pecking order is gonna be. So I think at the foremost, there's a project called Poor Things, which I think is a Frankenstein retelling, maybe, as well as Untitled Greek National Opera Project, Untitled Epidemic Project, Untitled Project About Three Stories, and The Hawkline Monster, which is the next book I'm going to talk about. Uh, the Hawkline Monster is this kind of gothic, supernatural, western type of book uh, by Richard Browdigan. There's not a ton of out there on this one. There's, I guess, a skosh more than my year of rest and relaxation. It does have producers attached and it's the same production team who worked on The Favorite, so that's promising. But that news goes as far back as like 2019, so who knows what's happening, when it's happening, or if it's happening at all between those two Your Ghost projects. So, TBD. A um, movie that is coming out, it exists, and it is coming out with some immediacy, and that is Nightmare Alley, directed by Guillermo del Toro, first of all. It has an absolutely stacked cast. We have photos, character posters, or at least the one poster I know, and it's coming out in December, I think like mid-December, at least in the U.S., so this one's like upon us. I also did not realize that this book has been adapted before in I think the 1940s. It was adapted starring Ty Power and that just got a Criterion re-release last year the year before so that might be worth checking out in the meantime. The next one up is The Stars at Noon by Deneen Johnson. Um, this one is another one kind of a winding road. So Claire Denis is going to be directing which is very exciting. Uh, Margaret Qualley is co-starring alongside, first it was Robert Pattinson, which I was very excited for because Robert Pattinson worked with Claire Denis in High Life, which was a very successful partnership, I think. And then he dropped out and it was going to be Taron Egerton. I was like, okay. And then he dropped out and now it's going to be Joe Alwyn. And I'm like, okay, stay put. <laughs> I have not read this book yet. I think I have it on hold on Libby. But yeah, the Joe Alwyn announcement was pretty recent, just like maybe a couple weeks ago. So we'll just have to see how that goes. I, th I, My assumption is maybe they are getting close to production starting, or at least production being scheduled to start, um, if there's been some rearrangement with talent. So... That to me says they have an idea of when this is being made. Um, next up, this one's very exciting to me. Cautiously optimistic exciting. Um, and that is In the Garden of Beasts to be directed by Joe Wright. Now, <laughs> Joe Wright to me is a fascinating director because he did Atonement and 2005 Pride and Prejudice and Anna Karenina, but he also did Pan and Woman in the Window. <laughs> So God only knows what Joe Wright we're going to get. Um, not much has been announced about this one for sure either way yet, uh, but Tom Hanks is attached to produce. One would assume slash hope that he would star in it. Natalie Portman's name has also been thrown around in relation to this project. This is another one that was announced in 2019, but obviously a lot has gone down between then and now, so um, that's another one we'll just kind of have to wait and see. But a, a Tom Hanks-Joe Wright link-up, 
I would like to see it. Um, another one that's just around the corner, directed by Joel Cullen, that is The Tragedy of Macbeth. It's going to be black and white, has another just like knockout cast. I'm so excited to see Frances McDormand as Lady Macbeth. I can't, oh, I can't wait. I'm really excited for this one. Um, a brief trailer is in existence, uh, but this is out at Christmas, so I will for sure be be running out to see this one. All right, um, this next one is, it's kind of a weird one. So Argyle by Ellie Conway is a book that is not out yet and does not come out until next September. Um, Ellie Conway is a first time author. This book is some kind of spy thriller. I don't know really anything about it. I can't even find it on NetGalley. Not a ton is known about this book or this author or the plot really. However, um, it's to be directed by Matthew Vaughn, who did Kingsman, X-Men First Class, Kick-Ass, Stardust. <laughs> and this cast, this cast is bananas. It's Henry Cavill, Bryce Dallas Howard, Samuel L. Jackson, John Cena, Catherine O'Hara, Brian Cranston, Sam Rockwell, Dua Lipa. <laughs> but yeah, this book is not out until 2022. It is not yet on NetGalley, at least in the U.S. So it's all very mysterious, but this whole cast is already announced. So I'm like, I'm for sure keeping my eyes peeled for this one, especially for the book. It is a debut thriller author with that. This is happening with their first book. That's crazy. I want, I want to know more. <laughs> and the last one I have to talk about today, I actually don't have very much to say. Um, and that is The Chain by Adrian McGinty. The reason this one piqued my interest, the reason I picked up the book at all because I didn't really care for the book, is that Edgar Wright is attached to direct it. Interesting. Co-writers are listed as Adrian McGinty, the author. I don't know if that means he's assisting in the adaptation process or if he just wrote the damn book, um, as well as Jane Goldman, who usually writes movies that Matthew Vaughn directs. So. That's very interesting to me. That's another one. That was actually announced around the time the book came out, I believe. So that's not um, terribly recent. And it's another one of those that got announced. And then we haven't really heard one way or another since then. So curious. That is all I have today. That was the first 10 of this playing catch up. And then hopefully we'll be able to just I'll give you updates about these as they come in, would be ideal. Ideally, there will be updates about all of these. I have a couple more movie adaptation scripts written, as well as one or two TV ones. In the meantime, if you're curious, check out that letterbox list that I put together. That list is like a bonsai tree to me. I am constantly updating it and caring for it and doting upon it, so please check it out. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!